In this video, I'm going to show you how you access your Google Analytics 4 data in Python using the GA4 to BigQuery link. In the last video, we briefly talked about building a customer data platform where you consolidate all your different data sources and transform them into useful metrics. The transformations are usually done in SQL using a tool like dbt, but some of these metrics cannot be generated by writing SQL code. You have to build a model. You can't predict LCV or the likelihood of churn by aggregating and joining data. We need Python for this. This video has three parts. We're going to set up a service account on Google Cloud and get the credentials we need to access the data. Then we're going to install the required Python packages. And then lastly, we're going to extract the GA4 data from BigQuery using the Python API. So here we are in the BigQuery console. In order to create a service account, we need to go up in the upper left corner, go to I am an admin and select service accounts. Then we click create new service account and we'll give it a name GBQ Pi, create and continue. And we're going to select the role and we're going to select BigQuery admin, continue. And we don't have to fill this out, so just click done. Now click on the service account and select keys, add key, create new key, and we're just going to select adjacent key, create. And here we are, this is the key we need to access the database. So in order to connect to the database, we need to install the Python package Google Cloud BigQuery. Right, so I have my terminal here. I'm in a virtual environment. Just run this. Now we're installing the the Google Cloud BigQuery package. All right, we're done. Now we're going to take the downloaded JSON key and just give it a new name. Let's call it GBQ Pi. We're going to use that in our code. All right, I've opened the project in VS Code. We have our JSON key here, and I've created a file called read.py. Let's import OS because we need to extract the key. Then we're going to import BigQuery from google.cloud, import BigQuery. Then we need the credentials, gbqpy.json. There we go. Then we'll import the credentials into the OS environment and define our client. Client equals BigQuery dot client. Now we need a table name and we're going to get that from the BigQuery console. So let's go in here, rabbit promotion, open the projects, go down here to the intraday table and have a look at preview or details. Here it is, the table ID. We're going to need that, so we're going to copy it. All right, so now we can write our query. We need to put back ticks around our table ID. All right, I'm going to run this query and extract the data in a data frame. So let's say query equals client dot query Q and df equals query dot result dot result dot to data frame and then let's print df let's see what we get there we go a pandas data frame with three rows 
we see that the column event params is a column with a list and some JSON. And that's because we didn't unnest up here in a SQL. So let's just fix this. Let's say df equals df dot explode. And then we're going to explode the column event params. Print df. And then we move it up here. Let's run this. So now we just need to deal with the JSON. So we're going to do that with JSON normalize. So we're going to import JSON normalize from pandas IO JSON. Then we're going to we're going to print JSON underscore normalize, and we're going to say df, and we want event params. We're not going to print this. Let's run this. So here we have our unnested data. All right, let's try to go to our web page and let's set up the parameter GBQ pi, call the web page. There we go. Let's run the script. And here we have it, page location, rabbitpromotion.com, UTM source, GBQ, pi. So almost real-time data through the GA4 to Bitcoin link. 